Hi, I'm Tracy and welcome back to another Whiteboard Wednesday. Today what we're going to be running through is Geography and the Rock Cycle. So in the Rock Cycle what we have on the course is we have the formation of rocks, human interaction with the Rock Cycle and finally land forms associated with the Rock Cycle. Now really what that means to you if you're sitting here in Eagle Search is that you have six S's that you need to know. So your S's are on igneous rocks, your basalt and granite, your sedimentary, limestone and sandstone, and your metamorphic rocks. And sometimes here we actually tend to do three rocks. So marble, quartzite, and maybe slate. Your human interaction, I would always do geothermal energy. Now why I do geothermal energy is that it crosses over with the positive impacts of volcanic activity. So learn this, learn this well, and you might actually come up, it comes up in two areas of the course. So finally, we have our associated landforms. So we have our karst landscape, which is just associated with limestone rock, and our basalt plateau, which obviously is associated with basalt rock. Now, what we're going to cover today is actually our karst region. So we're going to look at our sedimentary rock limestone and our karst region. Okay, so what we're going to look at today is actually a past question, it's 2008's question. So what it asked us is to examine with reference to an example now. Remember, an example means one example that you have studied one rock type, okay, and a distinct landscape it produces. So what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at limestone and our karst region. Now by just saying them two words, so limestone and karst region in 2008, that gave you one SRP, so two marks. Now, when I'm saying that, also remember, it's a 30 mark essay, which means 15 minutes you have to do this. So what we're gonna move on to now is our karst region and our limestone pavements. Now, when you're starting this essay, what the question asks is for one rock type, okay? So the rock type associated with karst region is limestone. So start your essay by explaining the formation of limestone, where you find it, and the particular type that is associated with a limestone pavement. So here, so think about your keywords. What do you know already? So in class, you would have covered limestone rock, and you'd already know your essay for limestone. So here, think about your keywords. Limestone is an organically formed sedimentary rock. It's permeable, which means water can pass through it, and it's particularly vulnerable to the chemical weathering process of carbonation. It's a stratified rock, laid down in layers, far from the shore on the bed of a warm clear sea. It's formed from the compaction and cementation of the remains of marine, cre marine creatures. And finally, the most important point here, carboniferous limestone is the type associated with the karst region. So that would be our first point that we discussed, and we probably discussed approximately seven SRPs just solely on limestone in this question. Now that can vary depending on how the question is actually phrased. Secondly, what we we'll move on to is our karst region and defining our feature. So defining the first feature, which we're going to discuss, which is a limestone pavement. Now a limestone pavement is a large area of exposed limestone, and where you find that exposed limestone is in the Burnley County Clare. Secondly, what we're going to talk about, and we're actually going to discuss it with our diagram, is a limestone pavement and how it's actually formed. So it's formed through the process of the chemical weathering process of carbonation, and we're going to pop over to the diagram to have a look at it. Okay, so what we're going to discuss now is the chemical weathering process of carbonation. And what we know is that carboniferous limestone, the limestone associated with our karst region, is particularly vulnerable to this chemical weathering process. So how carbonation actually occurs? So what happens here, and you'll see it here, rainwater, H2O, falls from the sky. It absorbs carbon dioxide, CO2, from the atmosphere, and it produces a weak carbonic acid, H2CO3. Now, H2CO3, we refer to that commonly as acid rain, okay? So that's commonly what we know it as, but it's better to actually describe it as a weak carbonic acid. Now, what we know is when that falls on our limestone pavements, okay, Limestone is primarily composed of calcium carbonate in the form of mineral calcite. That insoluble calcium carbonate changes to calcium bicarbonate, which is soluble, okay? So it's soluble in water and it's actually washed down through the limestone in the process of solution, okay? Now, when that occurs, what happens is the rock is weathered or broken down. So what happens here is your vertical joints and your horizontal bedding plates, which you'll see here, is weakened. So they're weakened and they're widened out. And what that produces on the limestone pavements is three main features. So you have your grikes, which are here. Your grikes are your vertical joints when they become deeper and wider. You have plinths, which are your rectangular blocks. And then finally, you have your cairns, which is your little hollows that you'll find on top of the cliffs. Now, all these together are what we call a limestone pavement. 